Yeah, girl, I know. I mean, God has truly blessed you. You have a beautiful home, a good job, driving around in your bins with lots of money. So many people would kill to be like you. Yeah, God um, makes a way. You sound down. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm, um, I'm just tired. I'm actually just um, getting off from work and walking through the door. Let me uh, get adjusted and settled, and I'll, I'll call you back later. Okay, girl. I'll holler at you later. Okay, later. God, I am so tired of these past due balances. My God, I don't have any money to pay these bills. I don't even have food. I just got paid and I only have $12 to my name. My God, what am I gonna do? God. Hello? Hi, is this Camille Davis? Yes, it is. Hi, Ms. Davis. I'm calling from the Real Collection Agency, and before we go any further, I have to advise you that this is an attempt to collect. Do you currently have an account with the Baker Wealth? Yes, I do, and listen, I don't have any money to pay this bill. Ms. Davis, I'm calling to offer you a settlement on this account. Did you hear me? I said I don't have any money to pay this bill, so stop calling. Look, ma'am, I am well within my right to call you, and I will keep calling you until you pay your bills. What? Who do you think you're talking to? Pay me my money, lady. Oh, no, don't ever call this phone again. Also, mine. Listen, I said I don't have any money to pay this bill, so stop calling me. Camille, honey, why are you screaming at me about money? Oh, Mom, um, I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. Why would you be screaming at anyone about money? Ma, it's a long story. Um, let's just talk about something else. How, how are you? Oh, Cammy, I'm doing all right. I had you on my mind, so I wanted to call and see what you, if you were doing okay. Yeah, Ma, I'm fine. Everything's good. Um, God is truly blessing me. Well, you know your sister is having a hard time. She needs a job, and she needs some money. That's because she doesn't do what she's supposed to do. She's out there spending money left and right and expecting somebody to bail her out. Well, I'm not doing it. She gets on my nerves, Mama. And why is she calling and bothering you with her problems anyway? Well, she's doing the best that she can. Besides, everyone needs some help sometimes. Things are not always as good as it appear. And some people have problems displaying their cracks in their life, not realizing when they expose their weaknesses and humble themselves. God can begin to heal them. Are you sure everything is okay? Yes, Mom. Everything's good. I'm fine. Listen, I got some stuff I need to do. Let me, let's just talk later. Okay. I love you. And remember, you can talk to me about anything. Mm -hmm. I love you too, Mama. Bye. Goodbye. My name is Monica. I wanted to speak with the lady or man of the house. Just a moment. This house is a mess. Yes, how may I help you? Hi, praise the Lord. My name is Monica. I attend Ayers Christian Center Church of Bell Haven Boulevard. We're in the neighborhood inviting people to our church and seeing how we can assist in the community. Have you ever heard of us? No, I've never heard of your church, and I'm a little busy right now, so please, I just have something I need to do. 
Uh, wait, I would like to leave you with this information in case you change your mind and would like to visit with us on Sunday. Uh -huh. I guarantee you won't leave the same. The church number is on the card in case you have any questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What's up, Mom? Hey, Riley. Boy, pull up those pants. Yeah, whatever. Listen, I. No, you listen. I said, pull up your pants. Man, stop tripping. Why don't you stop riding me, clean up this house, and cook some dinner for a change? I want to hear nothing you got to say right now. Boy, don't you ever come into my house and talk Your house? This is my daddy's house. So what you say don't mean nothing to me. Riley, don't ever talk to me like that ever again. Yeah, and what you going to do about it? You sitting around here all depressed? Man, this house stinks. Ever since dad died, you ain't been no mother to me. All these past who notices. Man, you spent all your money on yourself. Man, you got clothes, shoes, bags with nothing in them. Man, shut up! Riley, you've got one more time to talk to me like that. One more time! And what, Ma? Daddy's dead! Riley, get out of my house and don't you ever come back again, ever! I am. You will not ever have to worry about get seeing out. me again. Get out. Oh my God, this boy has lost his mind. <gasps> he has lost it. Hello? Hey girl, I thought you was gonna call me back. Oh yeah, hey, um, I was, but then I laid on the couch and, and fell asleep. What's up? Remember that guy we ran into at the park? No, what guy? The one that we said looked a little nerdy. Oh yeah, him. Well, I ran into him at the store and he asked about you. Please don't tell me you gave this man my number. I gave him your number. Oh, Shannon, come on. Don't be giving strangers my number. Besides, I'm, I'm not ready to see anybody right now. Not yet. Well, he's going to call you. You let him down nicely. Oh, great. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. No, no. That wasn't meant to sound like gratitude. No. That's okay. You'll thank me later. Okay. Well, I have to go, girl. My husband's home. All right. We'll talk about this later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Ayers Family Christian Center, New Year's Eve celebration, family night service. Sounds great if I had a family. My God, how I miss my husband. Why did he have to leave me like this to take care of our crazy son all by myself? Lord, if you were real, you would have never let him die. Never. Hello? Hello, can I speak to Camille? This is Camille. Hey Camille, this is Tony. I got your number from your friend Shannon. Oh yeah, she mentioned you might be calling. How are you doing today? Well, life has its challenges and that's the story of my life. Ah, uh, that sounds like a pretty rough time. But it doesn't have to be that way. Probably not, but it is. Well, let's see if we can fix that. You remember me from the park? Yeah, I remember you. Well, that's funny, because you walked right past me, and I felt the jolt in my spirit that made me take a second look. I tried to get your attention all day, but you didn't seem like you were interested. Well, I had a lot on my mind lately. Well, how about this? Won't you let me take you to dinner? Anywhere. My treat. Mm, I don't know. Oh, no. I did say anywhere, my treat. <laughs> okay, well, when, when do you want to go? Well, how about now? I just got the car wax. I could come and pick you up. Oh, how about I meet you somewhere? All right, that's fair. Where do you want to meet at? Uh, let's say Morton Steakhouse at 7. All right, Morton Steakhouse it is. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <sighs> Where? Let's see. That's all right. I'll just go home. I'll take this. Oh, okay. Just one more.
You are so funny. Yeah, I know. That steak dinner was good. It was great. Um, I had a good time tonight. Yeah, me too. We have to do it again. Yeah, um, would you uh, like to come in for a little bit or, or something like that? Yeah, I could come in for a little bit. Okay, um, give me one moment. I'll be right back, I promise, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Oh, oh my God. This man about to come in my house. It looks like a wreck. Cleaned up in years. Be silly. Come on in this house. Come on, come on. Wow, you got a nice job. Oh, you think so? Thank you, thank you. Uh, have a seat. Thanks. Have a seat, sure. Um, do you want anything to drink or anything like that? No, nah, I'm good. I'm still stuffed for dinner. Yeah. Okay, um, well, do you want to watch some TV or listen to some music or anything like that? We can watch a little TV. Okay. I'm only going to be here until about 10 o'clock because I got to go to church in the morning. Oh. What church do you go to? I go to Edge Christian Center Church. Oh, where have I heard that name before? Well, it's over there off of Bellhaven Boulevard. Oh, I remember now, a lady named Monica. She came over earlier and invited me to uh, some New Year's Eve celebration you guys are having or something? Yeah, and I would like for you to come and be my guest. Uh, I don't know, I'll, um, I'll think about it. Think about All right, it. that's fair enough. Yeah, so how long have you, uh, no, what kind of church is it? Well, it's a non-denominational church led by Pastor Keith and Melanie Bradley. It's an up-and-coming ministry founded in Christ's teachings. I promise if you come, you won't leave the same. Where have I heard that before? Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, how long have you been going there? I've been going there for about a year and a half, and I love it. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Real good. So do you go to church? Uh, I haven't been able to... Uh go to church these days much, not much. Why is that? Well, to be honest, I haven't really felt like going since my husband passed uh, a little bit ago. Oh, you were married? How did he die? You don't mind the accident? <laughs> well, he was uh, shot and killed by a stray bullet about three years ago. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but that should be the reason why you want to go to church. Why is that? Because during the hardship and pain, that's when you want to run to God to get the help that you need. Help others? Who was there to help me? Now, I'm pretty sure help was around, but you have to be open to receive it in order for it to work. You know what? Let's change the subject because I don't really feel like being preached to right now. Let's watch TV or something. Okay, I apologize. I wasn't trying to preach to you. I was just trying to offer you some advice, Camille. Well, you're sounding a little bit like Mr. Holier Than Thou right now, and I don't really want to hear it. I don't. Okay, you're tripping right now. I'm getting ready to leave because I have to be to church in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, take care. I, I like the evening that we had together. I hope I get to take you out again. We'll see. Can I call you tomorrow? You can call. I got your number. Okay. All right, I'll see my way out. Okay, bye-bye.